We are going to solve a known problem with these 20 and 18 and up JLs and the JTs actually. There's an issue with the steering box and I'm, we're going to show you. We're going to show you. But we're going to solve it right here with this Synergy track bar and sector shaft brace. This is going to solve a lot of those issues, especially if you're running bigger tires and you're lifting. We're on 37s by 13 and a half inch wide Mickey Thompson MTZs. steering in this Jeep and it's stock form it sort of floats, drifts, it's just all over the place. Pretty much did it from a factory when it was completely stopped before I lifted it as well, but it definitely came more profound after I lifted it. We have the stock 410 gears in here and it, it screams on the bypass. It does not want to shift in the seventh or eighth gear shifted in the fifth there finally so we're not even in six yet now we're in six but yeah i constantly have to it just it's it floats it floats all over the lane it's really profound when you're on the highway it's definitely a lot of play in the steering box see i'm like i have to like break over compensate a little bit just to hold this lane here Sitting back, just floats all over the lane. And again, it, it did this stock without the lift and the big tires, but it definitely got a lot worse after lifting it. We're out with Joey and we're out at the JP shop as always. Make sure you check them out on the internet, the jpshop.net, or call them if you want to get some Synergy products. your brace, your hardware, and this is for your sector shaft. We're going to do a full-blown tutorial on how to install this, and I'm going to give you a little bit of an after review. I'm going to remove your track bar. Yeah. It's a blaster. Take the nut. The new nut. Lock tight it. Tighten it back up. Torque this down to 180 foot pounds. If you do this on the ground, you won't have as much of a problem trying to torque this. We got Tracy up there holding the steering wheel. He got it. We use a 19 millimeter to remove the bolts securing your steering box in. <laughs> Saying that you almost have to take the cool spring out, but you're not going to have to. Only on the uh, factory springs for the wider. Oh, there you go. So now that they're all loose, you're gonna lift the steering box up a little bit and you're gonna remove these four bolts. You're gonna take your bracket that matches the ruby piece, finger gray. Slide it up from the bottom. Teamwork, buddy. There you go. And then you're going to want to lift this up a little bit. Line it up with the holes. Joey's just lifting up on the steering box a little bit, and he's hand tightening the stock OEM bolts. Getting them all started. Yeah. 
So this, re this replaces the uh, factory upper track bar bolt. That's in there. One. And take this. That one's gonna go up top here. Washer and nut in the inside. So basically, guys, this is gonna give you a track bar. It's gonna give you a track bar added rigidity and more support, and then it actually locks your sector shaft into place as well. So your your steering box isn't flexing back and forth, and you're not getting that, you know, drifting on the highway and you know, floating around on the highway. It's gonna be nice and tight. Now Joey's gonna leave, he's gonna pull all the hardware in, but he's gonna keep it all loose until we're ready to tighten everything down. Yep. Make it easier to get everything into place. Remove this sway bar link right here so we can have access to that bolt hole. And we probably should have unlocked the sway bar <laughs> before we started. So we could move this out of the way because that's still gonna be in the way. Someone's gonna have to hop up in there and unlock the sway bar. Joey's getting ready to install this Allen key bolt and nut and washer to this lower bolt hole here. And the Allen key part has to be facing inwards. Just like that, leave it loose. So this bolt right here, guys, is for the track bar. And I'm going to stick it through here so once you tighten everything up, the hole is still aligned. It's a tight fit, guys, so you might have to do a little finagling and some finesse to get all these bolt holes to line up initially. You're going to take these two bolts and the sector shaft brace, and then you're going to install it. You may have to tighten these bolts here, guys, a little bit to get it to line up enough. And then that one goes on the back side. Right there. Cool. Tighten down these four bolts holding the brace. We are going to pry on the coil spring a little bit to get the impact up in there. I need a 19 mil and a 19 mil. We're going to tighten this one up. Tighten this bottom bolt now. You're going to use a six millimeter Allen key, and that's a 19 millimeter. You guys are going to want to use a 15 millimeter to tighten the sector shaft brace bolts up. So on the back side of the sector shaft brace, you're going to use a 7 30 seconds Allen key to tighten that up. Don't go too much, you'll strip it. Okay, don't do that. You don't want to strip anything. You use the red Loctite on those. Yeah, so they're not going to go anywhere. Yeah. I can't wait, guys. No more floating. And your grease fitting, your zerk fitting. It's going to go right up here. Uh, yeah. So you're going to use a 4 mil Allen key. Yeah. You're going to use a 3 8 wrench to tighten up your zerk fitting. Try to get in a position where you can easily put a grease gun onto it. Perfect. Joey's going to tighten the bolts going to the steering box at 99 foot pounds. Let's get to this bolt. You may need a buddy. Again, we used the pry bar and a, a rag to push the coil spring over a little bit so we can get on there and get it torqued down. Joey's going to tighten down these two bolts now, this guy and that guy. To 60 foot pounds. We broke down and released the electronic sway bar so we can get a proper torque on this bolt. <laughs> it was already right there. It was already there. This guy right here, you're going to torque it down to 30 foot pounds of torque. Same with the inside bolt, which is actually an Allen key. It's going to break that little. Oh, there it goes. It clicked? Yeah. Woo! You had me worried. <laughs> So at this point, guys, Joey's going to put the Jeep back on the ground, and he's going to put the track bar back in. Um, that's going to be, you know, just, you're going to have to do a little bit of persuasion to get that back through there, put our sway bar link back together, and then we're pretty much the wrap. 
You yep. have to put the tire on first though. Yep. Do that. When you're putting the track bar bolt back through the new brace, you might have to have a buddy, right Christian? Wiggle the steering wheel a little bit while you hit on it. Track bar bolt back in, sway bar links back in, and they're getting ready to torque her down. It was all tightened down while it was on the ground. And this is being torqued to? 125. 125 foot, foot pounds. pounds. Inch pounds. <laughs> Not inch pounds, foot pounds. Right. You're going to retorque the sway bar end link to? So much for family friendly. 59 foot pounds. 55. 55? Are you messing with no, me? No, it's 59. Seems right. They're messing with me. Sure? These guys are messing with me. Oh, I wasn't messing with yeah. you. I was just telling you straight up what it was. <laughs> Took a nice hit here at one point. Oh, yeah, we did. It's actually not that bad. Joey, you said it was all. Oh, my lord. Hey, we're good. We're not leaking. That's all that matters. There's a chunk. There's a bracket. Yeah, there's a yeah, I mean, chunk. Yeah, right. it's all right. We're not leaking, though, guys. That's all that matters. Right, Tracy? Yeah. We're not leaking. No Make sure you grease that Zerk fitting. Yep. We're all done. You may notice when you go on a road test, the improvement. But when you get out on the highway, your steering might be off a little bit. So what we're doing right now, Tracy's with me, do some adjusting and testing and adjusting and testing until we get it perfect again. And I'll show you why. Right there is why the steering wheel is a little bit to your left when you're going straight. Tracy's going to show you how he's adjusting it to get the steering wheel to the passenger side. So this is our bolt which clamps around the link that's right here. And this is what does all the adjusting for your steering wheel. So as you can see, we've got threads here and threads here. So what I'm doing is I'm spinning this. Um, you're going to have to spin it whatever direction uh, straightens your wheel. It could be different any, any time. So I'm pretty much loosening this, spinning this, and then tightening this back up. I have to wiggle it back and forth. Since Steve likes to go mudding all the time. <laughs> Went to destination number two of our wheel straightening session. I still think we're a little off, but uh, I don't know, dude. I might be. I think I think, I think yeah. you might have got it. Definitely feels a lot tighter. Does it feels better? Feels much better. Yeah, normally you'd be like this. Look, I'm just, I mean, <laughs> you would be able to, it would not be that responsive. Well, that's good. And yeah, when you guys are, are testing and adjusting your steering, you want to probably do it on a highway where the road's flat. You just want to do it in a flat area. Yeah. Like the roads here in Pennsylvania. Oh, they're the terrible. Back, the back roads are not flat. All right, so we just did our third stop at DZM, which they have relocated, so cool to show Steve where they're at yeah still doing the JP shops alignments yep so what do you think yeah it's perfect now guys it? yep it's dead on uh, yeah we're good we're good we're good yep good to, yeah and I'm gonna show you how much tighter the steering is let's get the window closed we're not floating in and out of the lane to the lines, the fog lines, or the passing lines. We were holding straight. Unlike earlier, we were all over the place. We were back and forth, and there was a lot of play in the steering wheel. The steering wheel is tight. When you turn, it turns. It is a huge difference, huge improvement, and I highly recommend this product. You can get this product from the JP shop. You can purchase it by giving them a call over the phone. Um, at some point, we will have it on the website, but right now it's not on the website. So you can give Gabe a call, Keith or Gabe, and they'll get you set up. If you're local and you want them to install it, they'll get you hooked up there too. Look how straight it is, Eddie. We're not floating. Oh, man. Heather, Heather's on the camera right now, guys. But yeah, it's so, such a huge improvement. And as always, guys, I'll have all the information for this product in the video description.
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you stopped by for the first time, make sure you smash tap. Do something to that subscribe button. We love you guys. We'll see you on the next upload. Plenty more uploads coming.